This is Stella. She got scammed by a cowboy builder who took all of her money off her and did a runner. So, with the help of some amazing mates of mine, we're helping her to achieve her dream of opening her very own restaurant. So far, we've ripped out the cowboy's electrical work, binned the wooden frame, and even had some time to order some questionable coffees. The candy McDoodoo, whatever it what was. It? <laughs> And in the final episode of this epic series, we get the project over the line and hand it over to one very happy customer. So we are just on our way to go try and find some vinyl flooring. Something I have never ever done before. I've been watching YouTube videos on it last night and I reckon we can give it a crack. We've given a nice smooth floor surface so it shouldn't be too bad now to do. I'm gonna try and see if we can get a hefty discount if we shove a camera in their face. I was looking at all the little local carpet shops on the road and we did try calling them just to see if they had in. I felt a bit bad, like small businesses are not going through the best time right now. I don't wanna go and start, like I'll have to do another shop for them next week if uh, we get a load of vinyl carpet off them for free. But there's a massive chain on the south coast that we're gonna go pay a visit to, to see if we can uh, get some vinyl from. Oh yeah. Um, we're just on a project down the road. It's like a DIY SOS project. Okay. Are we all right to film in here? We won't show any people or anything. Yeah? Cool. Thank you. We're after some vinyl flooring. Okay. Um, something without any straight lines on it. Just plain. Um, just plain vinyl flooring. Something hard wearing and... Down there, there's two bays in the Okay. Full of loads. There's hundreds. Straight down there. Great. Yeah, really cheap. Cool. Do Thank it. you. Yeah. All right. We're in a carpet shop. We've got tons of stuff. I really need a mattress topper. I, I might get that while we're here. Is it bad ethics if I try and get a discount on the flooring thing? But I also try and get a discount on my mattress topper as well while I'm here. If I like, slide it through the same account, is that... It's unethical. Yeah, don't. Don't answer that question, we'll cut that from the video. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, that could do. Yeah. I didn't check my measurements either, so. I didn't check your measurements, Max, but I trust you. That looks all right. Yeah, that looks so. like the surface of the moon. That looks uh, awesome. I don't really want anything with a pattern on it, otherwise they can see how, <laughs> we can see that it's my first time doing vinyl. If we have straight lines on it, you're gonna see it. Right, these, are, these are your measurements, Max. 4.1 by 2.3. The bathroom I know is about two by two. That I do for the bathroom. The only thing I'm worried about is, you know, you see them episodes of DIY SOS where they go into the house afterwards and the woman starts crying because it looks so awful and it's not the colors they want. I'm thinking, we should probably go neutral <laughs> because I don't want them to cry and say they hate it. They got a nice bit of wood, didn't they? Well, he's got doing 30%. Morals and ethics going straight out the window. Ah, memory foam mattress topper, perfect. Is there king? Is yeah, king? 150, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. So that as well. That was actually surprisingly not that expensive. £324. They did us a really good discount there. Fair, fair play to them. The mattress topper was separate, but I did manage to swing a little cheeky discount while we're in there. The only trouble is, my van is tiny. We've already gone over, yeah, van problems. I need to buy a new van. It's on the list. It's on the to-do list. I could try and put it all on the top, but I don't have any ratchet straps. I don't really fancy um, sellotaping that to the roof. Imagine someone dying from vinyl coming off your roof. Dying by vinyl, that's... Let's go buy some ratchet straps. Got some ratchet straps and some goodies for uh, the road. Do you know how much resistance I had to use there, Max? Not to get one of the custard donuts on the counter. I went and bought myself a nice BG board as well. I'm just kidding, I didn't buy myself an EG board. Do I look like an e-fix? Ah, oh, we could just use that carpet. There's nothing wrong with that. Where are my sunnies gone? Ah, oh, that'll work. Perfect. I'll tell you something. I get a lot of people asking me how I managed while I was in Norway to uh, keep the business running. I'll tell you my secret. I don't keep the business running. <laughs> no, I'm joking. The secret is my business is like pretty much all online. So uh, obviously I have to be here to do the work, but paperwork and stuff, everything is online which I like because if you have to be in a physical location, 
it's nice in some ways because you can I guess go to your office and switch off and stuff but for me I'm working away a lot bear in mind I probably only film like 10% of my jobs it's hard for me to really be in one place long enough to have like an office set up and things because otherwise I just never get any paperwork done so all my jobs and everything invoicing quotes inquiries admin it's all online so I can log in from any computer anywhere in the world it's all on a cloud for me to come in and do my work if you want to try and get your business online use my code below for Tradeify thousand people trying to call me right now hi mate you're right Ah, oh, legendary um she's bought us KFC yeah, yeah, have it while it's hot, do it. Just save us some bonus bits, if pos. Nice, seen a bit. That is definitely not gonna save us any KFC, is he? I feel like Alex is good for a lot of things as a person, but I don't imagine he's someone you wanna share a KFC with. What's cool is about being a multi-trade project is usually I can only offend one trade. I can only annoy the electricians. Now I've got like, think about it, we've probably annoyed carpenters, we've annoyed plumbers, we've annoyed floor layers. We're now annoying people who strap things to roofs. No one's left out. Let's go get some food. Yeah, this to me reminds me of the moon surface. Oh, there's a traffic warden here. That's perfect timing. Get her on camera. No, it's not mine. Give him a double ticket. I'll charge him double just for driving a smart car. I've got to be honest, you're really intimidating. This guy's just like the most sarcastic person ever. You should be intimidated. Oh, that's funny. You're about as edgy as a cheesecake, my friend. I tried to go for an analogy you'd understand. This guy. I only mock Alex about his fitness because we're in a bit of a competition at the minute, you see. We both signed up to a 5K, which he signed up for first. And told you're doing the half marathon. You only signed up for a 5K? I've not signed up for either yet. I procrastinated it. I'm going to do it. Oh, you're an absolute joke, mate. So you've signed up? Yeah. Well, who's the joke? Who's run? Yeah. I ran past his local pub the other day and I thought, I bet he's in there. I'm jogging and I go in there and you, what are you doing? You, you saw my van, that's why you came in and you knew Yeah, well, saying. you know, that's why that's it, was a, it was a safe bet. They Some people for, count cards. They go for a run um, and then they have a pint to celebrate. I go in there and he's in there having a beer. I was like, mate, you've, you've egged me on to do this and now you're backing out. Like, no, that's not, I don't usually just make jokes shaming up. people for fitness. You're but in, You're in a position to back out because you've not committed 50 quid to do it. It's 50 quid? Yeah. I'm not paying 50 pounds to run. What, who better. benefits from that? I'll run alongside you. I'll run on the other side with all the crowds. <laughs> Are you serious? You have to pay 50 pounds to run. Does it go to a good cause? Oh, what charity? I'm going to set a marathon. All right, all the electrical fun run. You have to run at home. If you have a nice route you like, send me 50 quid and you can run it and tag me what in your Strava. No, I need to take this one. I'll tell you what, I'll take the packet of screws, shall I? It's time for the foot. You can hear water, don't say that. You're joking. No. <laughs> I need a wee and you almost made me wet myself. We'll lay down the moonwalk vinyl. Yeah. Don't laugh at me. I, I'm absolutely not ashamed to say I've got no Scooby Doo what I'm doing. I feel like we've all lied on our CV. Sack electrics, all the qualifications and faff you need. We could just do this. I don't think we need to glue it down. Gravity. Unless that changes in the next few years. All right, our lights have arrived. While Alex is uh, fixing the floor, <laughs> it turns out I'm not very good at floor fitting. Oh dear, or cutting open boxes. We have got our lights arrived. So what we're planning on in here is I want to do a bit of feature lighting inside that arch, but in terms of the ceiling, I've got these LED 600 by 600 panels and I reached out to the best lighting manufacturer in the country to see if they would uh, supply all the fittings for us and sponsor this basically this project and they've very very kindly offered to do that because the trouble with these with well with a lot of LED light fittings really is you can always find them cheaper but it's more about the lifespan longevity and the warranties so Massive thank you to JCC for supplying all of this kit to us. So we've got the floor down and once we've got a skirting board that thick and that deep, it's actually quite a nice job, I'll be honest. 
I can't actually feel my arms right now from that glue. I should probably put a warning label on it. I don't know if anyone realises that, but the smell of those things can actually send you off. Um, what were we doing? <laughs> you were just saying what a great job you've done on the flooring. Oh yeah, I did an amazing job on the flooring. But what I'm doing now is just attaching these click plugs to wipe the lights. Uh, Lucas and Reese are out here just putting click plugs on the ceiling. And uh, the benefit to that being, once there's a plug on the driver, I can just plug the drivers in and unplug them. So when I want to test, I don't have to worry about damaging or anything. Um, I've even got a test lead with one of these wired up so I can just go to the end of line, plug it in and get all my results. So it just makes it a bit easier for maintenance and stuff. You don't have to worry about safe isolation and things. But anyways, I'm really happy with what we've done today. These guys have absolutely smashed it. Yeah, we're way on track now. So see you tomorrow. And it's another day where uh, today's focus is plumbing, and getting the electrics on. So I've actually got my NAPIT inspection here tomorrow. So as an electrician in the UK, you have to be inspected every year in order to be able to self-notify work. I've just been stupidly busy, so I've managed to get an appointment here on Saturday. Today is Friday, so it's just been an immense amount of work, but Johnny is in there at the minute plumbing this in. Because this is an unvented system, so there's no header tank, this here controls the pressure pressure controlled cold coming off there and round so that say even if you had five bar coming in whatever off of the street you'll always have three bar coming out this side and then you've got the pressure controlled hot as well so that the hot and the cold are both the same pressure and then that will come through and go into this tank you've got the pressure release valve here so that if there was ever too much pressure rather than this blow up and go through the roof it will instead release through the that and go back outside and that is what Johnny is just on with at the minute and meanwhile he's going back to his teenage years you can do some graffiti art for us yeah maybe cowboy builders suck no he's got me some paint because I'm just on with doing the consumer unit at the minute but I wanted to make a little back plate for it but um, yeah I thought it'd look nice to have all the cables come down inside this trunking and go rear entry into it but I don't really want to just have it wood. I think that'll look a bit rubbish. So we're going to spray it black. Ah, oh, these, these are the absolute best. These are the business. Thank you very much. Jeez. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fell over. Ah. Oh. I hurt my hand. Well, yeah, the stepladder's just sort of folded in on itself. Okay, that wasn't fun. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm glad I started record just before that happened. <laughs> that will uh, definitely make the video. Well, yeah, we are finished for the day and I'm exhausted, genuinely, just shattered. In five days, I think I've been there like 65 hours or something. The plaster has done an amazing job. I wasn't really much used to them other than just like cleaning up and stuff, but I'm wrecked, absolutely wrecked. I'm hoping now this is the tail end of it. And next time you see me, I'll be in a very good mood because it will all be finished up. Let's see. Welcome back where I've done no filming at all. But let me give you a really quick update of what is going on. So these are all in, all the trims, the door, window frames, the floor is in. Oh! Uh, the wall is painted, lights are on. We actually have light switches. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it was done late at night, my bad. Um, we have doors that close, but they're closed. And most important of all, we have a bog. We have an actual toilet that's attached to something. But I'm here because I need to apologize to you. I've still got a lot to do. I've not been filming here for the last week or two that I've been working. Stupidly, arrogantly, I kind of thought, do you know what? I'll get that done in a week. 
Oh my goodness, I was so wrong. This has been so much work. I can't just be here for weeks and weeks on end. Like, I've got to work, I've got to pay bills, I've still got to live my life. So I've basically just been here evenings, weekends, trying to take days off here and there to get stuff done. But when I was watching back the original edits for the first few days, which you would have seen already in this point of the video, I was cringing myself to absolute death. Because here's the trouble, when I'm filming, I'm holding the camera, right? You've got my perspective, this is me. You've not got the perspective of all the other people that are involved in this. When I'm watching it, I'm dying because it feels like I'm watching the Corey show. It doesn't feel like I'm watching the Paul and Katie or Johnny and Adam and all the other amazing people that have been here helping. I, I feel they're not in it enough and that's because they've had their head down and they've been working blimmin' hard. This whole thing would not even be remotely possible without all of those people. So I just wanted to quickly address that illusion that if it seems like I'm taking more credit than I'm due, then please do not be under that impression because without all of these people that have helped, I would not even dreamed of being this done on my own. I would be out of business, bankrupt, done. Massive thank you to them. Um, all this kitchen equipment, it's all pretty much secondhand other than this fancy schmancy, I did not all of this stuff on here can i just add um dishwasher oh great it's really second hand now even this is second hand um this fancy dishwasher sink unit so that's all in there we've got someone coming um to independently do like a risk assessment for the food hygiene and also for things like having a door here so that kids can't run in and all that kind of stuff because obviously I don't want to be held liable for it. I'm going to get the cooker wired in and then I've got a spur which will be coming out of there with a three amp fuse up into the ceiling and then joined onto the cable that is up there clipped along the beam for the extractor fan and that is what I'm doing today and Paul in the time of me filming this has just arrived. Should we go out there? Look at his feet. Nice shoes bro. There you go. You blend into the sign. I can't see you. I can't make you out where you end and the sign begins. If there's one thing though that you should be able to take from this episode is that there is still some serious good left in the world. Like there are so many people that have helped on this that really didn't need to help. Take JCC for a start. JCC, I contacted them and I said about the situation immediately. Yeah, let us help. Like they didn't say, oh, but we want this product reviewed this much airtime, screen time, it's got to be in this section of the video. No requirements, just, you want us to help, here's some help. What lights do you want? Because they are the best lighting manufacturer for this style of lighting. That is not likely to be a profitable decision for them. Same as Johnny and Adam and uh, Alex, South Coast TV and that, like them coming here, okay, yes, it will benefit them somewhat with advertising, presuming that at least, you know, 10 people watch this video, <laughs> but, I doubt it's gonna ever benefit them enough to make it worth like the amount of time that they've put here when they're busy guys with successful companies that actually pay them a decent amount of money. This advertising space for them is not worth how much work they've put into it. So really the, what they have done is out of the goodness of their heart. So I find that quite, quite cozy inside. I think you should too. So this is a little dose of positivity for once on the internet. I'll tell you one personal gain that I have definitely had from all of this is I'm absolutely addicted to this podcast at the minute. I'm not going to say what it is because, uh, and I'm not going to link it, leave a link in the description or anything like that because otherwise you're all going to just think it's sponsored, but it's about pirates and the history of pirates and there's something you might not have guessed about me, but I really like history. I'm actually a massive history nerd loser um, and always have been since being young. So actually, I'm very grateful that I've had the opportunity to sit here on my own with my headphones on and get some work done. Right, Paulie, how are you feeling? Shattered, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we are both shattered. It is very late. This though, on the bright side, is exactly the same colour as that orange there. So that's really satisfying. Um, we are we are so done. We are so cooked. Like everything in here has just been a nightmare. This door, we thought that's a really nice, low hanging fruit, simple job, didn't we? What was that? Just oh, it'll be easy. Just replace the carpet, rip that out, put a new carpet in. We rip it out, this floor is destroyed. This door is destroyed. We realize that the hinge there is completely rusted off. That means then not only has this window got to be replaced, because in taking the old sign writing off, we realized it was covering cracks all the way along the glass. We also realize now this door has got to be replaced. And if that needs doing, then that means all the concrete work outside needs doing. That needs redoing. We can't 
it will be an endless Pandora's box. We are opening this restaurant this Friday. We've got to get it to the point that we can safely open it up, that she can trade and that she is in a good position. It will not be beautiful. It will not be the finished article, but at least they're in a position where they can then start to earn money. Hopefully with the GoFundMe as well, they can be in a position to sort the rest of these jobs. Because otherwise, look at, look at him. I'm borderline want to send him two pound a month. <laughs> He's looking so tired. Oh, so yeah, I, we're, we're done with filming now. The next time you see us, we're gonna be bright and smiley and uh, this is all gonna be finished, ready to open. All right, today is the day to make Jollof happen. It is handover day with Stella. So there's some little jobs left inside. Sadly, some of them that were meant to be finished today, like the sign, because of the rain and the weather, we've not been able to do some of the bits outside, but the inside now is finished and it is looking spectacular. Let me show you around, and then we're going to show Stella around, and then we're going to invite some people back to eat some good food. The inside is finished. Are you ready, Stella? Yes! I can't wait! <laughs> okay, let's go in, come on. Oh my god! What? Wow! Wow, this looks good! Amazing! Thank you! Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> this is amazing! You happy with this thing? Oh, you guys so my dear. <laughs> the next are many. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right. Wow, this is beautiful. And a tap that actually works now. Uh, is oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm running more. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. You forgot to freeze the switch on now. It's switched on now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You got the new oven in as well. This is this is this is in. Oh. You're ready to open. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. It's coming to life. It's coming to life. I can't believe this. How's it been? Good. Happy yes. with everything? Yeah, I think so. It's come together. It's really a bit more good. work than what you expected. <laughs> Just a little bit. Well, <laughs> couldn't have done it without you. So. No. A lot more work than you expected, I think. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's, I, I think it's time to try some of your food, Stella. Yeah. Yeah, what have we got? Yeah, this is called Giz Idodo. It's named plantain with gizzard mixed yeah. with pepper sauce. All right, let's have a look at this. That it looks so amazing. seriously good. Wow. This is coleslaw. Nice. Mm -hmm. Proper homemade coleslaw. Yeah, and make coleslaw. You can't, you can't compare it, eh? No, no. <laughs> Let me Raising. put it what in the fridge. Got? Yeah, go on, stick that away in your new yeah. fridge. Yeah, it goes to the fridge. I made it too tight. This oh, is wow. our beef meat. Mixed with, some of it is mixed with pepper. This one, I left it because of it might be too hot for you guys. So I left it without pepper. And these are the chickens for now. Oh wow, that looks like seriously good chicken. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's Stella, my you shouldn't boy. Have. Huh? You shouldn't have. <laughs> I do what? I knew it would be good because this guy wanted to go watch the football game and then he knew you were cooking chicken and he couldn't. He couldn't no, this, leave. This man can't leave without chicken. You, you can't can, go. You can use the, just chicken to take this man away from me. <laughs> yeah, let me show you the favorite jello. There you go. Yeah. This is the notorious. This anyway, is the Anyway, it's a, a Manchester one today. This is what it's all about. We wanted to yeah. make jollof happen, right? We want to make jollof happen. We have made. Here we go. Look at the steam on that. We have made jollof happen. Yeah. Wowzers. How's it taste? Amazing. Yeah? Good food? Amazing quality. Would you, would you come back? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how, out, out of five? Five. Perfect, that's what we'd like to hear. Is it good? Yes, yeah, amazing. Out of ten? Oh, it's ten. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I can 
head and shoulders will sponsor you. Yeah. Feel weird to actually be eating food in here? It does. I thought it was never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's an expression of love through food. When people come together, they enjoy the food, they love it, and they feel satisfied and happy. That's what love is all about. And I think the purpose of this place, at Stella Choice Food, is a family-owned business. They just want to give to the community by cooking good, professional quality food. So Stella, they are for you. Thank you so much. I'm so and, uh, grateful. I don't know how to say thank you. A word is not enough to say thank you. Don't worry about that. Don't you worry about May that. May God bless you for all you do, really. This, you took, wipe away my tears. You put a smile oh, on my face, don't really. Worry about and I was thinking that, oh, hope is gone. I didn't know hope is back again. Thank you. Don't you worry about that. Oh. Wow. What an emotional ride that has been. That has honestly been a roller coaster, that project. I'm really, really happy that we did it. I have absolutely no regrets and I would do it again in a heartbeat. It wasn't really that much when you think about it. I did my little bit, everyone did their little bit in this little community. And yeah, the kids are gonna remember that and have that positive experience. The people they cook for are gonna have that positive experience. It's like you've just injected a little bit of positivity back into a world that can be sometimes a little bit negative. I, I don't think, I've, I've never done anything like that before, but I really, really want to do it again. Seeing how happy they were, the kids, Stella, all the family, and then all the people coming in and eating, it's just made the whole thing worthwhile 10 times over. I also just want to send a massive thank you to JCC Lighting, who provided all of that lighting in there for free, um, Tradify for sponsoring this video and also Doncaster Cables for supplying that cable that was being used throughout that whole building they provided all of that for free. Also Verso supplied that fantastic consumer unit in there. I don't know, I take this as just a big dose of positivity which I'm going to try and take forward that sometimes people will have you believe that everyone has bad intentions and that there is always, um, I don't know, negativity behind things but actually this, what I'm going to take from all of this is that there are still a lot of really, really good people left in this world. <laughs> and let that GoFundMe as well be a little reminder of that, how many people have been so incredibly generous. Anyway, now I'm really babbling on. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like saying lots of love to you all, but now that's just getting weird. See you next time.